Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jock from Awareness and Action. Welcome if you are a returning subscriber, listener, wherever you are in the world. And if you're new, a massive welcome and thank you for joining me. And today, I'm actually, I'm not interviewing anybody today, but I'm going to talk a little bit about happiness and what the secret to happiness is. So when we come right back, we're going to have a little bit of an eye-opener. God bless. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to talk about happiness. What is happiness? Is happiness something that's external to you or is happiness something that's internal to you? As we know, we experience it, we experience everything internally. So I, I'm going to kind of give an example, then I'm going to tell you a little story that, that kind of might help you to understand really how we experience happiness and what the secret is to happiness. Because everything that we experience in the world, we experience it internally. You know, when we see something beautiful or we see something external to us, the reality is, is that we experience it internally because the light shines on us, we create imagery in our mind, we, basically we see it with, with physical eyes, but the experience is inside. Everything we experience is internal. If you hurt yourself, you experience pain internally. You don't experience it externally. When someone does something to you that hurts you, either by words or anything in that respect, you're experiencing it internally. So why is it that we always look for happiness outside of us? Because I, I've seen lots of videos, I've seen lots of people talk about it, and lots of gurus that will say, you know, happiness is when you're a servant. Happiness is given to the poor to feel happiness. Happiness is when you come to a level of contentment in yourself. It, it brings me back to that whole story about the deer in the forest, you know, the must deer, who's at one point in the cycle, they begin to smell this odour and they go all over the forest, they go everywhere trying to find this scent. They go mad for it, right? It's like catnip or something, they go everywhere and they cannot find the scent because the reality is, is that the scent comes from within them, it's a gland that's within them. So how we experience happiness, you know, we experience happiness internally, but here's what I want to kind of put down for you to think about. When we see something or we, we feel good about giving something to someone that you see them makes them happy. Do you think that you're happy because of that? Are you happy because you've just had a wonderful dinner and for that moment you are enjoying that succulent dinner, that meal, whatever it is, and that moment you think you feel happy, but you don't. To truly, the secret of happiness, in my perception, is to experience happiness internally by others' experience of happiness. And I want to put that in a very simple perspective. My wife and I were watching a, a program the other week and it was about people who were grossly overweight. And yes, I know I, I had to lose a few pounds. But as I'm watching this, I'm seeing the people, they've made their own choices and they've come to a place in their life where they're now suffering for it. And through all the trials and tribulations, there's a lot of questions that you ask yourself. There's a lot of things that you, you'll kind of look at and you'll think, well, they've done it to themselves. It's through their choices. And whilst that might be true, it doesn't make it any more easier to take or to watch them suffer. I'm a person who hates to see anyone suffer. I just hate it. I can't, I can't stand seeing people suffer. But when I, I looked, I, as I was watching the program, I saw one lady and she stood on the scales and she had lost an amazing amount of weight in the first time. And I saw her eyes well up. That moment in her, in that mindfulness of that moment that I seen her light up. Most people, you know, yes, you can get teary and you can get emotional, but that, that's not feeling happiness. There was a seed inside of me that, that grew. There, there was almost an explosion that happened inside of me. And it wasn't seeing them smile or anything. It was the feeling of experiencing their happiness. That happiness that they were experiencing, I experienced that simultaneously. And the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, if you really, the secret to happiness is not about how you're feeling at that moment. It's not about how you see someone being given some alms for the poor or feeding someone. It's temporary. If you really want to find the secret of happiness is you must experience it through other people's internal experience. Because if you feel the happiness that they have, 
have that is true happiness. Why? Because it is a divine law. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the divine law of love without condition. And if you experience love without condition for that moment and you awaken to the fact that that experience of happiness is because you experienced happiness of that other person, I think that's the secret to happiness. The secret to happiness is not what I can get through meditation. The secret to happiness is not what I can get through giving a homeless person a gift, some food or shelter. The happiness is not that I can share something with someone. The secret to happiness is to share in the experience that another person is receiving that happiness. When you see that other person really be happy and you can be happy for them, that is true happiness because it comes through love without condition. And the secret to happiness, ladies and gentlemen, is love without condition. There is nothing so simpler than to understand that divine law. To love something unconditionally is the experience of happiness that will never leave you. The, the mother who loves their children, that loves their child when they're first born, that person that their life has just turned around, they've stood on the scales, they've lost a load of weight and they realise their life is about to turn and you can feel the happiness inside of them and it just sparks it inside of you. That's the feeling of true happiness because it's love without condition. It is not in the material realm, it's not in the material goods it's the internal experience of experiencing someone else's happiness that is real happiness if you've got any questions ladies and gentlemen please connect with me on instagram at jock brokers you can message me and if you don't agree with me that's fine i don't mind that at all but just try it the next time you're out don't try and feel good about yourself to give someone something to make yourself to make happy or happy that you've had a chocolate cake or happy that way because it's temporary it's fleeting it's born of the material world and it's born of the ego try and seriously feel happiness within someone else experience it internally yourself love without condition experience the happiness of another person and that is true happiness god bless 